Hey guys, my name is Ismos and I hate hard work. I like doing things the easy way. I'm the kind of guy who spends most of my time inside the house on my computer. I don't cook, I don't travel, and the only thing that gets me up is your mom. <laughs> but seriously, I hate hard work. And unfortunately, making 3D is hard work. You have to commit hundreds of hours learning to make things and making them takes a lot of time too. That's if you are doing everything by the book. If you are learning Blender to get hired by Hollywood, skip this video. But if you just want to pump out good looking renders in a matter of minutes without worrying about what's under the hood, then this video is for you. We're going to look at easy ways to achieve great detail without hard work. Number one, using texture decals. Texturing requires a lot of steps. You need a properly UV mapped mesh to texture it correctly, but you don't need a properly UV mapped mesh if all you need is to make it look textured. You can use texture decals. All they are is a simple subdivided plane that has a texture you want on it. You can shrink wrap that on any mesh to make it seem like it's part of that mesh. This is very easy to do, but you can make it more complicated as you want. This trick is so popular that it's used in Unreal Engine and I made an add-on based on it called Texture Decals and other artists have made their versions like Deco Machines. This all can give you great detail without you doing a lot of work. Number 2. Making Buildings Popularized by Ian Hubert, this technique of making buildings is quite effective. All you need is a texture of a building, make some loop cuts around the details like windows, doors, AC units and more, then extrude them making sure they match with the textures applied to them. And with some lighting, you can create an entire city in one sitting. If you want even a lazier but effective way of making buildings, try the free Buildify generator or this new product on the market called PBG. It helps you make any type of building by just applying a template of different styles to a mesh and you can extrude out the details you want like roofs, windows, walls and a lot of other things. And the package comes with a lot of different templates from different types of building and from different eras. Number 3. Non-refractive glass. If you are rendering interiors or arcvis or anything that needs glass, Avoid longer render times by using non-refractive glass. The shader is set up to look like glass though you don't get refractions. You will still get refractions which do not require as much time to render like refractions. So for things like glass windows and doors, this shader is perfect. You can copy the setup in the screenshot below. It's really great for ArcVis since you rarely need to see refractions through windows or doors. If you need more procedure shaders like this, check out Sanctus material library that comes with things like this and more. If you are a woman watching this, I want you to know that faking water simulations does not have to end in the bedroom. You can also fake water simulations inside Blender. There are several ways you can do this. If you are doing something like water going up in a spiral, try using this technique in my tutorial. All you have to do is extrude a mesh and add water details and deform it using a curve. If you want something even simpler, you can try a water shader using a noise texture or a normal map. But for something more complicated, Jess Mitinen on Twitter is working on some geometry nodes water simulation that looks better than what I can do with Matterflow fluid simulation. He sometimes gives out his projects for free on Gumroad, so you can check out his page to see if this one is available just yet. Number 5. A fake fire. Unless if you are making explosions, you don't really need to make fire by doing a smoke simulation. There are several ways you can create fire in Blender and one I just discovered is by the use of sprite sheets. Sprite sheets are very popular in 2D game development. They are just a sequence of images that plays like a GIF but you have control of what frame shows depending on variables like key pressed or what action is happening. For example, a character jumping can play a different sequence of images and a character running can play another. On Twitter, I saw this tweet by Ness who managed to make this fire and smoke simulation using sprite sheets in geometry nodes. Other creators have come out with other clever ways of making fire like this curve fire generator by seeing FX. Number 6. Fake people stroke silhouettes. 
If you are rendering epic scenes, you can add mystery to them by adding fake people or silhouettes. Kai Wan Shaban has a great collection of these silhouettes. They are usually just PNG images of people or objects that you can put in your scene to give them more character. If your question is why use silhouettes instead of actual characters, it's because they are light, easy to use and render faster. They also look great. Since they are very light, you can have a collection of hundreds of different poses, which is usually a bit difficult to do with actual characters, as making those poses can take a while. You can also just take pictures of yourselves and make the silhouettes directly in Photoshop of yourselves and make a collection for yourself. Number 7. Fake Interiors Buildings are easy to make, but buildings with interiors are harder. So a quick and easy trick is using Parallax shaders. I already made a video about this. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know about this free Parallax building pack by Kit Ops. Number 8. Fake trees. Like silhouettes, trees don't have to be actual geometry. You can use a simple texture on a plain tree and make it always face the camera using a track tool constraint and making the camera the target of that constraint. This guarantees that the tree will always be facing the camera. The limitation with this is if you're using multiple cameras. The track tool constraint does not automatically switch to the active camera. One solution is using multiple planes facing different directions. Another solution takes the form of an add-on called Alpha Trees which will help you with the alignment of the camera for you no matter how many cameras you have in your scene. Number 9. Fake Crowds We have already seen add-ons that handle crowd generations really well, like procedural crowds, but if you don't have the budget for such an add-on, watch this one minute tutorial by Ian Hubbard on how to animate crowds really easily in Blender. Number 10. Height Maps When you want detail at no cost, Think height maps, think alpha maps. Most of the time, when people think of height maps, they think of mountains and terrains. But you can do more than that. You can create ornaments, sculptures, and more with height maps. All they are is a detailed map of something represented as a grayscale texture, and using them is quite easy and cheap in Blender. Thank you for watching. Those were some of the amazing ways you can fake everything.